guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another first impressions review. I really like doing these videos so you guys can see my like exact reaction when I put something on my skin. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Nivea Men Post Aftershave Balm. And you're probably like, why are you using aftershave? But I don't know if you guys have heard all the hype about this product being used as a foundation primer. So I've heard Nikki Tutorials talk about it the most. She's the one that kind of started the trend with this product. Um, and then I've heard Desi Makeup talk about it, Kathleen Light, Luster Lux. Everyone has been talking about this aftershave as a primer. So I went to the drugstore and picked it up. It's only $6 at the drugstore. So if this works, that's pretty awesome to have a $6 primer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I think about it and follow up with you later in the day to see how my foundation looks later. But it just comes in a little white box. It's for sensitive skin. It says smooths and improves skin's defense over time. Um, and that's for like aftershave, obviously. Um, and then th one of the main ingredients that is supposed to make this a good primer is glycerin. Glycerin is a product that helps um, things stick to the skin. So it is the second ingredient on the back. And the ingredient list actually isn't that long, which I kind of like. Um, but yeah, it's for sensitive skin, so hopefully it does not break me out. I don't really have super sensitive skin. Um, but some things kind of do. So it comes in a really nice like hard glass bottle so it feels pretty heavy um, and you get 3.3 fluid ounces which is a pretty good size. A lot of expensive primers you only get like one and a half ounces so you get like double that for like a fourth of the price. So we're just going to go ahead and put this on and see. It smells like a man. I mean not that that smells bad but it smells like a man. It smells like cologne. Okay, right off the bat, I don't know how I feel about the fragrance. Like, I like the smell of cologne, but I don't really like super fragrancy face makeup just because I feel like I'm putting, like, stuff on my skin. But it is alcohol-free, which is nice. So I'm just going to pour out a tiny bit of this. I don't know how much to use. That's, like, a nickel-sized amount. It's kind of running down my fingers now, but just kind of, like, a clear, milky color. It feels, like, just kind of like a gel. And I'm just going to rub it on my cheeks first and then kind of press it around my t-zone it feels really cooling does it have aloe in it it has vitamin e does not have aloe i think but it feels like cooling and i was watching nikki's video and she said to just kind of like gently rub it into your skin until it feels tacky and it does kind of feel tacky now it almost has like a slight sticky feeling. Not in a bad way though, which you would think would be bad, but I feel like my foundation is gonna be like glued to my face, which I guess is good. I'm just hoping it blends out. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let that kind of soak into my skin for a second and then I'm gonna go in with my foundation, see how my foundation looks, and then later I'll show you guys how it holds up. Okay, now the primer, or I guess aftershave. I should say it feels completely dry and it dries to a really nice smooth finish like my skin feels soft it feels like I've applied a moisturizer and a primer and I'm kind of surprised I'm gonna go in with my foundation the one that I'm currently using is the makeup forever ultra HD stick so I thought I should go ahead and use the foundation I've been using so I can see a difference in the wear if there is one so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this I do have a full video about this foundation so I'm not going to like explain the foundation. This is all about the primer today. Okay so I just finished applying my foundation. I don't have any other makeup on. I'm actually about to film a makeup tutorial so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to check in with you guys later in the day to see how my foundation held up and see if it lasted better or worse than usual and right now it just looks pretty normal to me it looks like my foundation usually does um, it does feel very smooth and I feel like my pores look pretty small so I feel like it actually did work as a smoothing primer um, but I think the main point of this as being a primer is the glycerin helping the foundation last so we'll check in later and see how it does let me give you guys a quick update on this primer <laughs> we are now shopping and <laughs> I think my makeup is holding up pretty good. Foundation is not separated, it's not creased, it's not done anything. My skin still feels just as soft as when I put the aftershave on. So I'm really like pleasantly surprised. So I'll give you guys an update later. It's been 
four hours since I put it on and I still think it looks like it's just applied. So I'll see you guys in a few more. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Later in the day, it is now 5.08 p.m. And now Catherine has joined the party. Hey. And I was just telling her about this primer and she's like, we need to go to Walgreens and get some because my foundation is still looking like I just put it on. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I mean, that's amazing. I mean, you want to go get some? <laughs> you need some too. Well, I mean, thanks. That's uh, and I smell bad. No, keeps your makeup on. I think you struggle with that. Dude. I mean, do you use my foundation like crazy right here? Okay, guys. So we are at dinner, and I just thought the bathroom lighting here would be a good place to show you guys. It's been about three more hours since the last time I showed you and my foundation is still holding up pretty well. I'm a little bit oily on my nose. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but everywhere else my foundation still looks pretty fresh, which for being on all day, that's not bad. This is after almost nine hours. So Nivea aftershave balm is still holding my foundation on. I will say my nose does look oily, but my cheeks and everywhere else are really good. Even around my mouth, usually smile lines really tend to crease at the end of the day and they're not really so okay guys so i'm gonna finish up my review on the nivea men aftershave balm and it is the next day and i wore it all day yesterday i came home about 11 p.m and then i worked on the computer till like a midnight and i did get a clip like at midnight because it was so dark and my makeup looked about the same as it did at 10 so i wanted to show you guys I wanted to tell you guys that my makeup did last really well with this stuff. Now, I did get a little bit oily in my T-zone, and that is like really the only thing that I noticed. My cheeks were completely intact. I had no creasing on my forehead or around my mouth, which I usually do, even if I use a setting spray or a primer. So I really felt like it was the stuff holding my makeup in place. And that is crazy for this to be $6 and for this to be an aftershave balm. Now I did apply it again today and I do really feel like it makes my skin feel really smooth. For all, I really do feel like this product made my foundation last. So for only $6, I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. It's not like you have to lay down $40 on a primer to see if it works. It did make my makeup last just as long, if not longer than my Smashbox primer, which is like my favorite primer. Um, I will say I did not notice a significant difference in how smooth my skin looked or felt. Um, it felt like, you know, a primer once it dried, like it felt smooth like a lot of primers do. But the difference is that I really did feel like this made my makeup last. So the glycerin really does make it stick to your skin. So I hope you guys try it out. Let me know if you guys, what you guys think of it, if you think it's crazy to use aftershave on your face. But that is it for my review on the Nivea Aftershave Balm, and I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!